Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shneva Early, your craft doctor, with another video. Um, this is the another rose gold collection uh, with a twist. Okay, first I want to show you the twist. So I wanted to um, make this card stand up, and I was kind of tired of doing easel cards. So I decided to do something a little different, and what I came up with is a tent instead see the problem with making this tent card is in order for it to be a five and a quarter by four and a half I had to fold it in half to make it the right size right so that's what I did but then I couldn't put the tent part so I created a tent part piece which is this um, piece of paper. It folds up like this, and then you glue it in there, and it becomes the tent mechanism. So let me show you what I did. So this is a four and a quarter by five and a half landscape. So I took this, and I cut this piece at three by the four and a quarter, because that's four and a quarter to go in this way. Then I scored it at one at half, one and a half, and two and a half. So there's three score marks. Half, one and a half, and two and a half. So I did a mountain, valley, mountain fold. Okay? So then I'm going to take my tape. And I'm going to put my tape on here on the outsides. And I'm just using this tape because it's a stronger tape. Um, and, of course, I usually add glue to it, but I'm not because this is like stronger tape. And then... I'm going to take this piece and the point here goes towards the card base. So you just match these ends up. And lay that down. Okay, I'm going to take my bone folder and get that bone folded in. And then I'm going to lay this piece down. Take this piece off and just fold this right down on it. Just like that. And it makes the tent card. See that? Fabulous. Just another kind of card base. Okay. So then I use some of the paper from the... Um, from the um, paper collection. And I wanna see, let me reach up here and see do I have one. Cause I now I kinda wanna matte and layer this a little bit more. Um, okay, let me cut this piece down. Two, five and a quarter by four and a half. Uh, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter by four. Five and a half, a quarter by four. That will mat that piece. And then where is my paper? Then I'm going to take this to three and three fourths by five. And I really like this roll gold collection. I'm not a pink person, but I like this collection. Um, okay. So this is how I'm doing this. I'm going to mat this and then I'll build the card. No. Mm -hmm. How should I do it that way? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to mat this. Then I'm going to take this base.
and I'm going to put this, um, do I want this to be in the back or the front? It doesn't really matter, it's the same. Um, and then I'm going to mat this. Okay, can I match it evenly, please? Okay, with the not even lay down. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then I took the frame piece here and I cut this out of the pattern paper. And so I'm just going to put the tape in the middle piece. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it down right here. Okay, so I took some flowers, which this was the very first time ever doing the flower foaming. I took the flower foaming die and I cut this out twice or two, six times. And then I took the six of them and I lay one on top of each other to make this flower a little bit thicker. Then I took my iron and I ran it across the iron just like uh, Sarah Davy show us how to do. And it made these cute um, flowers. And I used the flower stamens from this pack that came with the rose gold. Okay. So that's how I, I made the flowers. And if you want me to do some flowers, let me know. It was the first time I did it. So I didn't want to do it on camera and mess up. Um, I did use hot glue for this, um, and then you can see what the back looks like. Come on, camera. So I used it and I rolled it. I, I, I have never done the other flowers where you put one on top of each other, but I might do that. And then I cut out some leaves and I used my marker, um, Copic marker, to go on top of that paper. Um, to make them different shades and tones and textures, but it did put it, the lines in there itself. I didn't do that. <clears throat> okay. And then I took the wine glass and I cut it out. Then I cut it out with a piece of paper. Then I put uh, some thin, 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 um, whatever, uh, pop dot stuff. Like what I did was I took this here and you probably can see it on this side and I cut it really thin. And I wrapped it around and then I took a Copic marker and I colored it in in there. So you can see that I colored it in. And then I took this brown piece of paper and I cut out that little circle and I made it a little shaker. See that shaker? Just a shaker. And so I'm going to put that in our own little wine glass. So the wine glass now is a shaker card. I thought that was just an, an extra cutie idea. So that this now goes in there. And so I made my own separate shaker piece. And then this wine glass is going to go right on there. gonna put the wine glass right there and then I'm going to take my um, because I forgot to turn on my hot glue gun I'm just gonna use some 3d glue gel I have some already right here And I'm going to put my flowers on. Right here. Like that.
kind of thing. Why is it so hot over here? So I'm stuck in here. Sorry about that. So I'm stuck in my little thingy here. No, what's going on with this thing? This plunger might be just glue stuck in there. Let's see. See, this is what I go through when I'm trying to do something. I don't know what's going on, but let's see if the plungers. Y'all don't need to wait and see, watch me figure out what's going on with my plunger because knowing me, I'll do something and it'll squirt this 3D glue gel everywhere. So we're just going to put this like that. And I'm going to tuck this flower. Do I want to tuck it up there? No, I want to put it down here. Right there. And then we have our little bitty leaves. And we're going to tuck our leaves in. Keep forgetting I have my new little stand. I'm so used to laying this down. <laughs> but the stand is works wonders. Okay, and then I'm going to put this one right there. And then... Now my little thing can stand up like that. Isn't that beautiful? The new tent card and using Crafter's Companion Rose Gold Collection. I think that turned out beautiful. What do you think? All right, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.